Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is gonna be the first fluke trip of the year. I am extremely excited about this. Uh, Black Sea Bass season was kind of a bust this year. There was fish around, but they just weren't great. So time to move on to bigger and better things. Uh, sitting right now the third week of June. Uh, these fish should be here now. I haven't gotten out this year for them, obviously, but uh, I think this will be uh, a pretty good day. Usually my best fluke come right now, so uh, I don't want to, you know, jinx it, but it should be all right today. Minimum size up here is going to be six uh, fish at 19 inches this year. Uh, liberal bag, but it's going to be a high uh, length limit, so we'll see how that works out. I've been here some decent fish are around, so uh, there should be something in the cooler. Uh, leftover sea from last night's blow. Haven't been able to get out in about a week, which has been killing me. Took a vacation this week to go fishing and uh, exploring every day, so that's how it goes. Can't always win them, right? But got to give it a shot and uh, see what happens. Uh, sea bass is open too, which is nice. They're usually not open this early, so uh, got an opportunity to catch two of those over 16 and a half. So here's some bigger sea bass I've been in this area. So hey, who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll catch a good one here, but. All right, guys, just going to let it rip. I, uh, I'm, I'm super excited for this, so let's let it go. <sighs> All right. Let's talk about the rig and tackle today. Uh, this is already ready to go. Very similar to my Black Sea Bass rig, high-low rig. Uh, squid tail, bucktail on the bottom. This is the gulp uh, minnow with a squid strip. A little strip of uh, bluefish on. i got to trim it up a little bit, but... Um, that's going to be the uh, the meat on the jig. Running a little bit heavier of a rod now. Uh, I won this last year at the uh, Todd Classic. Uh, this is uh, from Crafty One. It's one of his customs there. Uh, ocean rods. Still running the Acrist on it though. I won this too, but still. Uh, just because that flip and switch. Uh, and I think this is like 15 pound test to a 20 pound leader. Really simple stuff, guys. Let's catch them. Rise a lot heavier than I'm normally used to. Oh, cool. Dogfish. <laughs> awesome. That ain't great. Ugh. Oh, this is actually a fluke. Just doing some back trolling, trying to. Hey, all right. It's not a keeper, but it's the first fluke of the year. Just doing a little back trolling, trying to get into a bite here, and uh, it worked. Not a keeper. It's a short, but hey, you know what? They exist. That was a blue fish. this is. Sea bass, baby. Sea bass. Well, that's a keeper. Uh, I want to check her back. It's a female. She's not quite transitioned over to a male yet, so... 
Uh, right idea though, I'll tell you that. That's a nice bluefish. We're gonna, we're trying to make some fluke bait here this year, so this is a good size for fluke bait. Ah, fluke. We got a fluke. Back trolling is the only way to get a fast enough drift today to get these folk to eat. They're not big though. Perfect. See you later, buddy. Though I do like seeing him eat the jig. That's a, a sign of an aggressive fish, so. Just gotta find a big enough one. Ooh. The fish was right on it. Got to change out this handle. These little paddles. I don't know if you, you can see it on the camera, but I'm just grasping at nothing. Oh, Robin. Nice sea bass. Just fat. God, I hope that's a fluke, but... I don't know. Oh, it is a fluke. That's a really big fluke. around. I don't want them seeing this fish, but... Guys, that's a big fluke. <laughs> it's probably 27 inches. Nice. Oh, I love it. Back trolling. 
back trolling up this fish, guys. Oh, guys, that's a nice one. Elephants eat peanuts. Right, let's get that on a string and just to calm them down. We'll measure this one here in a few minutes, so. And there it is, it's uh, almost 24 inches. Be good. Really nice fluke. This is something that always grinds me up here. I, uh, I hate seeing balloons in the water. Even these mylar ones suck, but the uh, you know, turtles get wrapped up in them, birds get wrapped up in them. Let's see what the occasion was. Love you, Mom. Well, Mom, you shouldn't have cut your balloon loose. This will be coming in with me, with my trash. Ooh, let's get some weight. That's a fluke. This is a fluke, guys. All right, that's number two for the day. That's a nice one. All right. That's a karma fish, I think, from uh, from picking up that uh, balloon. It's a nice one. Let's get a measure on him. Make sure he's 19. And add him to the uh, stringer. Oh, yep, 19 and a quarter. Look at that. Perfect. Big belly. All right. Okay, it's turning into a pretty good day. That's a little better. That's a little better. I don't know if this is a keeper or not. It feels good, but this new rod, it's hard to tell. In. Oh, yeah. That's worth the net. I think that's going to be good. I had to use a new jig because a uh, bluefish took, took the jig off. That's a nice fish. But a 19 inch fluke is a big fluke, so let's see. Oh yeah, 19 and a quarter. Yeah, almost 19 and a half. Perfect. Fluke dinner. Oh, that's good weight. That's a fluke. Take 
this one nice and slow. Oh yeah. I'm taking drag, but it's got weight, so should be a keeper. Oh, it's a nice one. Probably 20 something inches, 21 maybe. 20. Nice 20 incher. Right on top of that waypoint before I caught a keeper earlier. Now, if you look at my fish finder, I've done a lot of drifts on that speed, on the little piece, but uh, they're not going to bite every time. I thought I felt a fluke head shake, but I could be wrong. Oh, there it is. There it is, the fluke head shake. Worth the measure, I think it's only gonna be 17 or 18. But still, um, nice fish. That's probably closer to 18. Uh, nope, 17 and a quarter. Going back. It's a nice fish, though. Come on. Ooh, got that time. Feels like a really nice fish, but who even knows? Right, that's another. Came right out of them. It's my Ivory Keeper. No, 18. 18 inches. It's not bad. Jeez. A fluke. Again, can't get to, can't really tell how big it is. Yeah, feels reasonable. But then again, the last 17 and 18 inch felt like this. So who knows? All right, that's a that's a netter. That one's actually going to keep. I'm going to mark that. Get them out of the net and give them a good measure. All right. 
There's no doubt this one's a keeper. If I had a guess, this one's gonna go in another 20 inch. Oh god. <laughs> 21 and a half. Second biggest one of the day. It's a really nice fish, guys. It's a fluke anymore. Oh, it is a fluke. <laughs> fluke ran, ran out. Oh boy. You're gonna be close. I don't think you're gonna be it though. No, 18 inch. Right idea. Alright, guys, can I call it a day here? It's actually uh, got a nice long day in, and uh, the uh, fl flounder fishing was phenomenal. I uh, started off really slow, uh, had no drift, and uh, caught a bunch of dogfish, and that, that continued throughout the entire day. I, was, I don't know, almost caught a dozen, dozen and a half of those things. But uh, had no drift, so I ended up uh, back trolling pretty much, and wherever the drift went, I just went with it. So the uh, I seemed to do the trick, though. So once I started doing that, I started getting into uh, some fluke, and then uh, biggest fish of the day went 23 and a half, 24 inches. Had another one there at uh, 21 and a half or 20 and a half, something like that, and some. Uh, Couple other ones over 19, so end up with five uh, keepers, which is a great day by any uh, by any stretch. So that was a great time. Uh, plenty of fish to eat. I love it. And uh, didn't keep any black sea bass. I managed to get a couple of those, you know, scattered here and there. Probably a couple of keepers, but they were all females, and I wasn't going to uh, kill a female. Don't need it that bad. But that uh, no, was good. If it wasn't for the trolling motor today, I think it would, the results would have been significantly different. Uh, there is a bit of a wind today, but the wind is kind of going uh, into the current, so there was no drift. But yeah, I can't, can't complain. That was a great day, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.